Welcome back to 7 News. A deadly year on the roadways is having an impact in the Ohio Valley, and one health department nearly has to delay giving kids COVID vaccines. 7 News anchor Katherine Guyon has a look back at the week's top headlines. So far this year is one of the most deadly on the roadways, and that's certainly been felt in the Ohio Valley the past week. Three people lost their lives in two separate accidents. Two people were killed in a head-on collision on Route 2 near the Ohio and Brook County line. Another driver was killed when a truck carrying heavy equipment rolled onto a van on Route 250 in Bridgeport. Across the country, the Transportation Department says traffic deaths have been climbing since COVID-19 lockdowns ended, with more than 20,000 people dying in the last six months. You need to realize that when you're speeding excessively, 15, 20 mile an hour speed limit, you're creating problems for yourself and others. Ohio State Highway Patrol says while traffic has increased since we were all staying home, so have speeding and distracted driving. COVID-19 vaccines are now available for children ages 5 to 11, but before they could be administered in Marshall County, there was one thing the health department needed but couldn't afford. When you give vaccinations, you have to have EpiPens on hand in case of allergic reactions. The health department didn't have them in pediatric doses. After reaching out to the community, the Ladies League of Marshall County and First Choice Realtors helped them out, and the health department was able to give the COVID vaccines to kids. Weeks after West Liberty's president was accused of plagiarism, he was given his punishment. Dr. W. Franklin Evans is being publicly censured. The Board of Governors came to that decision during a meeting earlier this week. And in the academic world, the, the public censure puts the world on notice that the Board of Governors is extremely dissatisfied with the event or events that led up to all of this work. The vote to approve the censure was unanimous. It now goes on Dr. Evans' permanent record. And for some good news, it's a tradition generations of people in the Ohio Valley have come to know as the kickoff to the holidays. Festival of Lights is back at Ogilvy. The displays are lit and now visitors can enjoy a drive through the scenery. Plus, a new 70-foot welcome tree, a decorated mansion museum, the Winter Carnival at Levens and Shelter, and all the time-honored holiday traditions. Festival of Lights continues until January 9th. And how would you like to get off the bus to a dance party with your teacher? Students at Tridalfia Middle School are greeted by their teacher, Amy Delesk, busting a move every morning at 745. While she says most middle schoolers are too cool to show off their moves, she will occasionally get the smile or someone stepping along with her. So why the early morning music? I think music has the power to change your mood. And even if you're sad, if you put on a song and you jam in the car, you immediately just change how you feel. So I feel that music has the power to bring positivity, and I want to bring it to the students every morning. She says with the digital communication and masks during the pandemic, students became a little more shy. This, though, is her solution. Remember, for the latest headlines any time of the week, just visit WTRF.com. I'm Katherine Guyon, working for you.